We're back with the last segment of Talking Law TV on this episode, and we have a very special guest. My good friend Pete Lacactus is Chatham County Commission Chairman in your second term. Right. Welcome to the show again. You've been on, um, this will be your fourth appearance, I think, in four years. Right. I'm uh, glad to be here again today. It's like the State of the Union address. Right. <laughs> well, uh, well, you've got some good news to share. I want to talk about the Truman Parkway. Uh, it's been several years uh, since we've been lobbying really hard for the uh, Truman Parkway, uh, the fifth phase. Of course, the first phase uh, was completed in, uh, I think, in 1990. And then, of course, we've gone through uh, completing the fourth phase. Um, and uh, the problem has been uh, getting the additional monies funded by the State Highway Department uh, so that we can complete that uh, fifth phase. And um, uh, two weeks ago, uh, the uh, Board of Transportation, which is, consists of 13 members from the different congressional districts, they came up and uh, uh, approved $128 million to complete that fifth phase. And um, uh, last Friday, uh, what occurred was the, uh, the board voted uh, to go ahead and uh, award it to that English company uh, that has offices in Atlanta because they were the uh, lowest bidder on that. So it looks like probably sometime in May or June the construction will start, and if they get everything in order for the environmental portions of it and all, then it looks like uh, it could start even before May. And w how long will that project take? Well, it looks like about two and a half years, two and a half to three years, uh, because they're going to have to put it across the marshes, they're going to have to go across a river, uh, and that takes uh, a bit of time to do that. How many jobs will that create in the area? Well, we don't have the exact number, but what we have uh, let the Department of Transportation know uh, so that they can impart that with the contractor is that we want local people uh, that have that expertise in road building uh, to work on that project. It's important. The people in our area paid the sales tax uh, uh, for that uh, fifth phase as they did for the other phases and would like to see as many local people on board with that project. Now, where does the road pick up from and, and, and terminate at? Well, it picks up where the fourth phase is uh, uh, out on Litchfield Avenue, Whitfield Avenue, and, uh, and it goes, it will end at the 204 and Abercorn Street, just above, you know, where uh, Lowe's is located and right. Home Depot. Uh, just north of there, uh, it'll go into that section, and then they'll have ramps. But uh, it, from what I understand, the Department of Transportation is going to make sure that the off ramps there uh, and the on ramps uh, will hopefully be put in a very safe manner and where it's easy to get off of and to get onto. So there was never a consideration to connect it with Southwest Bypass. Well, uh, we really wanted to do that, and uh, approximately six or seven years ago, we talked to the Department of Transportation when we did uh, get that money to build that last phase, is to run it all the way to the Veterans Parkway, the Southwest uh, Bypass, uh, but at that time they said it was going to take approximately $600 million because you'd have to go uh, at, across a lot more marsh. Uh, a couple of more rivers, and by the time it got to the Veterans Parkway uh, to make that connection, which would have been great, uh, the uh, cost factor went from $600 million, and a year and a half ago they said it could be between $900 million and a billion dollars. And what uh, I was told from the Department of Transportation, that that type of money was not available anytime soon uh, because it'd be a long, long time before you could get that kind of money. Okay. And uh, what else is good news do you have for us in the coming year? Well, another uh, uh, a bridge project also is the Diamond Causeway Bridge that goes into Skidaway Island. Uh, when I came on board uh, with the uh, commission in 2005, that was my number one road project because 
you between uh, all of the Skidaway Island areas like the Landings, Green Island, and others, you've got approximately 10,000 people that live there. And that bridge, the drawbridge there, has malfunctioned a number of times. And if a hurricane was to come and hit our area and that bridge malfunctioned like it has many times before, uh, they don't make spare parts for it anymore. It's 40 years old. And uh, we could lose thousands and thousands of lives. But a tremendous amount of lobbying and contacts that were made, uh, it turned to be a reality. And we appreciate uh, Senator Eric Johnson who helped on that. And we had other commissioners like Patrick Farrell and Helen Stone and myself going to Washington and Atlanta uh, pushing for it. But we were able to uh, get that word in, and now they will be starting that probably in three months. They'll start building that high-level bridge there, a two-lane high-level bridge. And then later on, uh, they will build another two-lane high-level bridge, so you'll have four lanes in that particular uh, area. And that's going to be really good because instead of losing lives, we'll be able to evacuate people. And there's no more stopping for boats. It's going to be high enough to clear high the level bridge. waterway. That, that's correct. And uh, a lot of other things that are going on uh, as far as construction goes, and that's the building of the extension of the Chatham County Jail because it is overbooked now. Uh, it was built for 1,224 people, and sometimes they've had as many as... 1800 in there okay well thank you Pete. i just have one comment you're supposed to all this in the first term so you get elected to the second you already got elected to the second and you're still working really hard to make things better yeah i mean it's important that we do the things that we can help all of the citizens in chatham county it's very very important so, so any chance you could run for a third or we can't do that well i don't know maybe there's a possibility of that but i haven't decided exactly what to do at this point okay well thank you and i hope you, if you announce you'll come do it here okay okay thank you for watching talking wall tv we'll be back and see you again next week good night everybody